Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. It is a beautiful day here in Alberta. It's a chilly day, of course, here in October, but I am super excited. I am all fired up because we just had arrived. Uh, the newest addition to the Grand Design Imagine lineup. This is the 2910 BH. I am so excited about this floor plan and what it's gonna do for, for us and for our customers and RVers alike. So um, this particular floor plan here, folks, replaces the 3000 QB. And for all those people that love Grand Design, that watch the videos, that follow their product, the 3000 QB was one of the floor plans in the Imagine lineup that gave you and a separate enclosed rear bunk room. Now that bunk room did not have a slide out in it, but some of the feedback we were getting from our customers was that it was pretty heavy, quite long. And so what Grand Design has done is they've come to the marketplace with its replacement uh, in the 2910BH. And what's beautiful about the 2910BH folks is it's 33 feet, 11 inches in length and you get a separate enclosed bunk room and you can still sleep the same amount of people and you have unbelievable storage, which I'm gonna show you inside. But again, the, in the Imagine lineup, folks, uh, you've got several bunk models. The closest bunk model to this one uh, is a little bit smaller in size. It was their very first floor plan they developed in the 2800 BH, and that one is 32 feet exactly from hitch to rear wall. This one is 33 feet, 11 inches in length, and uh, you get that enclosed rear bunk room. So I'm, I'm guessing that this one is gonna be a very, very popular seller for us because it's getting that length and weight down, which is, which is really, really nice. One other thing, folks, as I mentioned earlier, this one just arrived. So one of the things I really like shooting about the videos is that you know, you're seeing Grand Design um, shine. You're seeing just what they do at their factory in terms of their PDIs, um, the quality of their product, the structure. I'll be honest, I've been doing this many, many years. I've seen lots of trailers show up on our runway from other manufacturers that we've had to put through our shop before we're able to show a customer. You are seeing this trailer as it just made almost a 2,000 mile journey to our dealership. And again, this is where Grand Design shines is in their foundation, their structure. If you've watched a lot of the videos, you've heard me talk. I go deep on these videos and I thank you for hanging in with me uh, when I do go deep on them. But that that's where Grand Design shines. You're making a significant investment in an RV and Grand Design wants to make sure you're getting maximum value as well as we as a dealership, you know, here at our store, we want to make sure you're getting maximum value out of your RV. We don't want it tied up in a service department, having things fixed all the time. And that's where Grand Design shines is, is what they do. Every single trailer before it leaves the Grand Design factory folks goes through like a 288 plus point inspection. Um, and that's just every single trailer since the their inception they've done that and uh, it just really ensures that you know when the trailer shows up to uh, to to hear at the dealership a long ways away from the factory that it's looking in 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 prime condition forgive me it may be a little dirty on the outside um, but hey that's the way it goes so starting right up front here folks again true to form for grand design they use structure caps on all of the fronts of their trailers that have a full fiberglass cap that structure cap makes sure that when that cap goes on to seal on the front end of the trailer that that cap goes on square very very important um, a lot of manufacturers you know when they're when they're building their fiberglass molds or they have the fiberglass mold company making that mold for their front caps um, you know a, a front cap with less grooves and edges and those sorts of things is a lot cheaper to build grand design is designing their molds for their front caps to have ridges and edges and grooves and those sorts of things in there so that when it goes on it goes on on square which is very very important okay the other thing they've added for you know aesthetics is You've got the LED light strips right on the front cap there. Also, the front cap is fully painted and automotive paint goes on the front. So if you've seen a lot of the trailers in the industry over the years where you start to see that discoloration and that cloudiness, that fading coming down the front cap, that's indicative of a gel coat cap. This is a fully painted cap. So the chances of that happening are far, far less. Uh, which is nice. Um, now coming down the side here, you know, one of the things where Grand Design again shines is their storage. Okay, when they developed this product many years ago, um, they wanted to give you fifth wheel like storage. Uh, and how they achieve that with their drop frame chassis up front to give you their 47 cubic feet of pass-through storage is where you see this molding here. 
where you have your wall and then your J-wrap. This is your mold and this represents where your main floor is. With most RVs in the industries, folks, it's a lot cheaper to build where your main floor is here and you continue that all the way across to the front of the trailer. And then your storage compartment is, you know, almost half the size of what you would get in a Grand Design Imagine, where they're literally building the floor of that storage compartment on the A-frame up front, uh, which is really, really good. But when you get down and look inside here, like camping gear nowadays, folks, if you've never owned an RV before, it's oversized. Bigger patio mats, bigger barbecues, um, you know, the, the, the camping chairs that people bring with them, I'm myself included, I've got them all in my garage and they take up space. And so to have this storage compartment is absolutely fantastic. Last thing you want is to be fighting to be able to put stuff on the bunk beds in the back of your trailer and inside and all over the place. So, but you'll notice with Grand Design, all aluminum tubing, it's fully bead welded together. Very, very strong, but lightweight. It's not wood sticks stapled together. Um, also count the amount of aluminum tubes. They're not the only manufacturer that does this, um, but the one thing with Grand Design is they're going a little bit further in terms of how many aluminum tubes, the thickness of the gauge of the alloy that they're using for their tubing, those sorts of things. Um, motion sensor lighting, Grand Design adds two motion sensor lights on each side of the, or one on each side of the storage compartment. So if you have it set to the motion sensor setting, um, this light will, you know, automatically turn on when you open up your baggage compartment, which is really, really nice and will turn off LED lights as well. So minimal power draw. The other thing that you'll find that's new uh, for the 2021 the true 2021 is you've got the tire link. Now this tire link, this is a docking station. You can purchase um, aftermarket the um, tire pressure monitoring system that would dock to this. This is connected to the Compass Connect system that Grand Design has installed on this trailer. And you can download an app to your mobile phone and um, have tire pressure monitoring right to, your, right to your phone that'll read right to the trailer as you're going down the highway. If in the event that let's say hypothetically you lose your cell phone, the battery goes dead, uh, something along those lines, um, what would connect to this is, a, is a, basically a monitoring um, digital display that, will, that you can take off and bring into the vehicle with you. So really, really cool touch that they've added. Again, true to form for Grand Design, enclosed utility centers on all of their imagined trailers right from the XLS and up. So you've got your outside shower, you've got your city water connection, battery disconnect switch, 110 plug, all of those things. What's really neat about this, folks, is let's say you're hooked up at a campground and you're heading out and you're about to go dry camping where you can't hook up to services, you can literally fill up your fresh water tank right through your city water connection just by flipping this lever up to fresh tank fill. So it makes it really, really easy but you also have the gravity fill as well. Uh, speaking of fresh water tank, you have 52 gallons of fresh water capacity with this trailer, folks, uh, which is uh, true to form for the Imagine. Your gray capacity, you've got two gray tanks combined equal 90 gallons, and then your black tank has been upgraded too at 45 gallons, which is absolutely fantastic. So you'll see with Grand Design, they give you the, um, the diagram with pictures, all color. Uh, for showing you how to winterize your your travel trailer so they want to come alongside you and make uh, make things easy for you uh, which is really really cool the other thing thicker baggage doors really rigid door metal latch it's not a plastic latch that you find with some of the others and then it's you know held up with with magnets as well so absolutely fantastic storage compartment i know i've spent a lot of time on it but there's a lot to talk about and this is going to add a ton of value to your camping experience uh, in terms of your weights, this particular trailer, the unloaded vehicle weight as it came off the assembly line is 7,150 pounds. You see that right there. Your cargo carrying capacity is 1,805 pounds, which is extremely respectable. Uh, average family of four is gonna take anywhere between 800 to 1,000 pounds worth of cargo with them, uh, including their water. So 
Uh, of course, each family's different, so don't lambase me on uh, on YouTube here, but because everybody's different in how much they take. But we find average family of four, 800 to 1,000 pounds, will typically get it done for you. So uh, I'm gonna shoot up underneath this trailer as well just to show you the underbelly. Now with Grand Design folks, fully enclosed, heated underbelly, forced air heat. It's not a radiant heat off of a, off of a heat plenum that's cut down the middle of your floor. Uh, they actually have a heat duct that's dedicated, blows heat right down into that enclosed underbelly. It's all insulated. They do spray foam around all of the openings where you have plumbing coming out. And you can see that gate valve there, that handle at least. You can't see the gate valve itself. That's up inside the heated area as well. And through your floor from this en enclosure called Coroplast, all the way up through your laminated floor, R30. Uh, so very, very good R values uh, in the floor. On the Imagine folks, you have an inch and a half thick sidewall, which will give you an R7. When you go two inch, you get R9. When you get two and a quarter, you get R11. On the Imagine, it's all R7. And then your roof and front cap, R40, which is absolutely fantastic. So far superior R values to what you would typically get in a, in a lot of other trailers in the industry um, that would you know go up against the Imagine. So. Uh, we'll jump in on the uh, the running gear on the other side here, but to talk a little bit about Grand Design and their warranty, folks, they, they were the first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty when they started their company. And I always tell that you know Grand Design they built their product or designed and engineered their RVs to support their three-year structural warranty. And what I mean by that is every RV manufacturer does not want to have to pay warranty claims. It comes right out of their bottom line. So what Grand Design thought was, okay, well, let's just build a better trailer rather than denying warranty claims to save our bottom line. So what they've done is they've created a structure on their products to support a three-year structural warranty. Now, not all products are, are the same. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will say they'll have a laminated wall, which they may have a laminated main wall, but what they don't tell you in a lot of cases is that your rear wall isn't laminated, or your slide end walls aren't laminated, or the roof of your slide isn't laminated. Grand Design, every vertical wall panel is fully laminated. So it's built in their lamination facility, which is temperature controlled and humidity regulated to exact specifications. And every single wall panel is designed for the specific floor plan that it's going into. Okay, so where these wind, where that window is, the cutout, oh yeah, what you're seeing, unbelievable rear storage underneath that bunk. Absolutely fantastic. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, these, these wall panels are built on jigs to exact specifications. They frame in all of their window openings with tubular aluminum. A lot of products in the industry, very well-known brands that have been around a long time, you take their windows out, you see block foam. Okay, that type of product, they do that to save money and to take the weight out. But the issue is, is you're more susceptible down the road to moisture intrusion. Okay, um, where you see the exterior fasteners going into the uh, outside wall here, folks, on this piece, I don't know if you can see those right there. Um, this steel screw, when it's screwed in, it actually goes into an aluminum tube stuffed with a wood dowel. Okay, that steel screw, you wanna support that. If you don't have a, a wood dowel in that aluminum tube, as your trailer's flexing and stressing going down the road, this is on a slide out as your slide out's going in and out. What will happen over time is that steel screw will wear that hole bigger in that hollow aluminum tube. Grand Design stuffing that with a wood dowel to support it, okay? Very, very important. So you've got fully laminated, okay, which creates a squarely built trailer because it's built to exact specifications, but also the roof of the slide here is a laminated panel, um, block foam insulation, aluminum tube, fully bead welded, just like the sidewall is. Like you can walk on their slide boxes, folks. And I'm gonna show you a little bit later when I crawl up on the roof and show you what's going on up there. Now, not every fastener goes into an aluminum tube stuffed with a wood dowel. Uh, your ladder here, folks, most likely in your sidewall here, your rear wall, 
they laminate a sheet of steel in. So where they can't have an aluminum tube or they don't put an aluminum tube with a wood dowel, where you have an exterior fastener going in, it's going into a sheet of EGS, electro-galvanized steel. And that steel screw is going into a sheet of steel, so it bite, bites down really hard, which is really, really nice. The other thing Grand Design that they don't use is butyl putty. Butyl putty, if you've seen it in the industry, folks, is very commonly used. Um, and a lot of manufacturers have gotten pretty good at hiding it nowadays by trimming it off and putting a silicone uh, bead over top of it. But what Grand Design does is they use a Mylar tape seal. It's not just a single strip of butyl putty on each end here. They put the Mylar tape, they wrap it from one side wall to the other, sealing in the edge. This corner cap goes on, the screws go in again into a, a, an aluminum tube with a wood dowel stuffed in it. Um, but then they also put that silicone cap seal over top of it. So you're only as good as your seal on the sidewall and then the exterior of your trailer, folks. And Grand Design is just going the extra step with that, which is good. Again, back to your rear storage. That's the beautiful one of the updates on the 2910BH, folks, is you do have this unbelievable rear trunk storage. They also go on the extra step. They router out the floor and put in a solid steel basin just to give you a little added, you know, extra storage. Uh, which is nice and there is a motion sensor light in here as well so you can pack a ton of gear with you again grand design on this one they didn't do the paddle latch but they do give you the triple lock which is nice but it is a nice thick baggage door which is good and held up by a magnet um, spray port here at the back so it does come with the coil sprayer hose that'll click in there to give you cold water uh, for your outdoor kitchen here on the uh, entrance side of the trailer so you've got the range that pulls out you've got the uh, propane quick connect underneath you see that uh, it's right down here just show that to you propane quick connect that your range will click into or if you wanted to bring a portable fire pit with you if there's a fire ban you could hook it up there as well but you also get that outdoor refrigerator as well light inside plug-ins for all your cooking appliances and again the flip up and down magnetically held up baggage compartment so um, Again, 33 feet, 11 inches in length. This is the biggest power awning you can get at 21 feet long. It's fully adjustable. Um, this is the Solera awning. You can pull down on either arm to give you more shade coverage, or you can put a tilt to your roller tube to allow if it's raining out a little bit, you can run the water off whatever side you want. Uh, you want to divert the water to, which is nice. The neat thing about this floor plan is that both the awning covers both entrance doors, um, which, is, which is nice. So uh, back here at the entryway, you'll find with Grand Design, um, wider entrance doors, taller entrance doors. We've seen with some of the trailers that have dual entrance doors, they'll do a narrower door for your uh, bunk, for your master bedroom. With Grand Design, it's the same size door uh, on both, which is nice. Uh, on your main entrance, you do have the uh, rise above step uh, or step above, which folds inside, gives you a real solid, stable stance. Um, of course, on your bunk or your master bedroom door, they do do the fold in and out uh, step there as well. So that way, you know, you know, if the you don't want to have to fold the step in and have to fold it out every single time if you want to use the bedroom to get in and around and those sorts of things. So they do do the the uh, the original step here as well. So um, the running gear on the product, folks, they do use the Dexter towing system, which gives you that five year warranty on your axles. Uh, which is really, really nice. Never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs. Uh, you can see the, the cap there in behind the hub there. There's a, a little cap there that you pull off. That's where you cycle the grease in. If you want to do a full re wheel bearing repack right in your driveway, Dexter's got a really good video on their website that basically shows you how to do that. There is a way to do that. Um, but you can save yourself hundreds of dollars by doing that wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway. Uh, which is really really cool so you do get the light big led strip light up top there full length of the awning fabric and they do the, add the little blue lights for your speakers one thing to note folks some manufacturers they countersink their speakers into their their side walls grand design they drill a little hole for a wire rather than a big hole for a speaker Okay, I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. The Grand Design, they mount the speaker on the outside of the wall rather than countersinking it into the wall. Okay, so smaller hole for the wire. 
The other thing is it's going to be quieter on the inside of your trailer. So if you, when you countersink a speaker inside your wall, typically that's when that's running, it's going to make that make it noisier on the inside of your trailer when it's running. With Grand Design, it's all block foam in, in behind that speaker. It's mounted to the outside of the wall. So it's going to be quieter if the kids are inside sleeping and you want to play some music in the evening by the campfire and enjoy the evening. Uh, it's just going to make it a little quieter on the inside. Little things like that. So... Okay, you do have the coax cable connection and 110 plug on the entry side. So if you wanted to set a TV up on the outside, you could do that too. But here's the thing, Grand Design folks, they're not holding back. They do a lend-a-hand grab handle even on your bedroom door. You'll find with some products, folks, they may do a lend-a-hand on the main door, but then they'll do the little cheap plastic one um, on, the, on the bedroom door. Grand Design, they're putting the big ones on. Okay, they're, they're, they're building that value in, giving you, giving you tons. There's a pass-through storage compartment for you again. So, tons and tons of space to pack all the gear up front and in the rear of the trailer. So, I'm going to hop up on the roof and uh, show you some things, so just hang tight. All right, I'm up on the roof here of the uh, 2021 Grand Design Imagine 2910BH. And I'm going to point out a bunch of things to you starting right up front here. One of the things that's new for the 2021 folks is it's pre-prepped for solar. So you've got the Jaboni pre-prep here. They run the wiring right from this connection point down into your pass-through storage compartment up front where you can hook up a regulator and it's nice and close to the batteries. So it makes installing solar that much easier. Um, and if you can see, you've got a ton of roof space uh, to be able to add a whole ton of solar if you wanted to. We're finding a lot lot of folks nowadays wanting to have a trailer that's more set up to go off grid um, if you're storing your trailer in a storage compound and not have to worry about the batteries you just always get that charge going in um, or if you want to head out in the woods and not have to worry about plugging in or bringing a generator with you folks um, that's the great thing about uh, this particular product is they're giving you making it a little bit easier to add a bunch of solar and we have we do a ton of solar here at our dealership because we believe in it and we have some fantastic deals on uh, on solar as well uh, the other thing that you'll find with Grand Design folks lots of roof vents so this one's above your master bed you've got one in your bathroom you've got one in your kitchen area um, you know, you've got a ton of, of ventilation uh, in this trailer to be able to let the heat escape. I think there's one even back behind the air conditioner there uh, for, your, for your bunk room. Uh, but to be able to let that heat out, if it, you know, you are dry camping, if you don't have a generator, it's heating up inside, you can open up those vents and to be able to let that heat out, you'll find a lot of products, that's where they hold back to save cost. You may get one vent in your bathroom, but nowhere else. Uh, and so that's, that, that's a good thing with this trailer. Um, with Grand Design folks, the other major thing, every single trailer that they build has a full walk-on roof, okay? Um, they want you to be able to access the roof. They put a ladder on the backs of all of their trailers. They want you to be able to come up, inspect your roof sealants. As you can see, they layer it on super thick. Um, but that's part of the maintenance of owning an RV is making sure that your sealants are, are in, in, good, in good condition so that you can, you know, don't have moisture intrusion. Um, but again, walk on roof. You have a slide out, okay? Depending on where you're camping, if you get the pine needles falling, the little branches, the leaves, those sorts of things in the wooded areas, you don't want to be piling that into your slide seals when you bring your slide out in. There are a lot of trailers in the industry, folks, when you're shopping around and expensive ones at that, that don't have ladders on the backs. And that's a very good indicator that you just simply do not have a walk on roof or it makes it a lot harder to walk up on the roof because you're literally feeling for the studs. Okay, with Grand Design, no matter where you're at or how you're using your RV, you can crawl up on the roof sweep off the top of your slide outs again this is a full walk-on slide box folks okay fully laminated roof panel I'm up on the top of this slide out which is fantastic you can get down and stand on this to sweep off the top of your slide out a lot of products you're not going to want to stand on top of the slide okay and again grand design full walk-on roof this is a wood truss roof it does give you the r40 grand design uses the same construction on all of their products so you have a far greater thermal barrier better screw retention they do use the there's two layers of insulation in this roof there's the bat insulation that's in between all of your studs that are 16 inch on center then you have that astrofoil thermal insulation as well which boosts you up to that r40 so this this roof breathes folks and you want a roof that breathes with Grand Design they put um, attic vents on all of their RVs 
there's like a little bit of uh foam there stuck to the top of that but um, that's your attic vent right there so with a grand design roof folks they don't use laminated roofs on any of their rvs which is a beautiful thing and the greatest thing with grand design roofs folks is they breathe you're not going to get that moisture condensation building up on the inside of your trailer with your furnace running when it's a little cold outside getting the little rain droplets inside of your trailer it's going to allow for that moisture to escape it's going to allow for that heat on a super hot day it's not going to permeate that heat down inside your trailer you have a far better thermal barrier with this product so a roof is one of the most important things on your rv and you want to make sure you invest in the best roof possible and grand designs doing that on all of their products it's part of that golden thread of consistency that you see interwoven between all of their brands which is awesome and last but not least, the TV antenna, folks. This is the WineGuard uh, Air 360. Um, this particular TV antenna um, will, is a digital TV antenna. So depending on where you're camping, you'll be able to suck in the digital local stations depending on where you're located. Um, but the cool thing with this TV antenna is you, it's upgradable. So you can add the gateway device, uh, which literally gets mounted uh, inside that TV antenna, and it will convert your TV antenna, not convert it, but it's still a TV antenna, but it will add uh, Wi-Fi range capability. So I think within almost a mile or around a mile, um, if you add that gateway device, you can suck in someone's Wi-Fi signal. So here at the dealership, if you were camping and you had the gateway device, you could hook up to our Wi-Fi and stream on your Roku TV, all of your, you know, YouTube, Netflix, all of those things right through your, right through the gateway device that's aftermarket. You have to add it aftermarket, of course, it's some extra money, but you can add it to that TV antenna. The other thing you can do is there there's plans available that if you're camping in an area where there isn't Wi-Fi capability or you're able to hook up to a Wi-Fi uh, signal, um, you can use your cell phone plan to stream as well. So, and I know that there's an added cost there as well, but again, depending on where you're at and what you're able to connect to through this WineGuard AR3 or the uh, Air360 TV antenna, um, you can stream all your favorite shows. It is, it is possible. There's that vent for your, uh, for your bedroom or your bunk room. So um, I'm going to hop down and we're going to uh, head inside. Just sec. All right, we're off the roof of the uh, all new 2910BH that just arrived to our dealership. Couple of fun facts here, folks. Hitch weight, 720 pounds, which will come out of the payload capacity of your tow vehicle. Of course, if you want to know more about tow weightings and, and payloads and all those sorts of things, give us a shout. Um, again, your holding tank capacity is 52 gallons fresh, 90 gray, that's two gray tanks. Uh, combined to equal 90 and then your black tank is 45 gallons uh, which is absolutely awesome your hot water heater folks is a six gallon tank it's gas and electric okay you can heat it using gas or electricity or a combination of both which at the same time would give you 17.8 gallons quick recovery per hour and this actually has the same size furnace that you get in like a bigger solitude or reflection at 35,000 BTUs. So fantastic uh, heating capabilities where a lot of products, you know, you may get a 20,000 20, BTU, 25,000 BTU for a, a trailer that's similar in size. Grand Designs go on the extra step. So um, again, we are inside the 2910BH. This replaces the 3000 QB. It's gonna get you under 34 feet in length save you a bunch of weight but still give you the same sleeping capacity so we'll spend a little bit of time here at the back um, rear bunk room sliding door it's a two-sided door so you can see the detail uh, that grand designs putting in nice solid door it's super wide so to get into the bunk room it's a little little easier they went with the side beds so this bed is the same size as what you get in a 2800 bh they just turn it sideways and enclose the bunk room so you've got two double over double beds which is awesome uh, windows that open so you have the emergency exit here up on top window on the end that slides open and then window here at the back uh, underneath the lower bunk or above the lower bunk um, that slides open too. That's one of Grand Design's things, folks. If they can put in a window that opens, they're gonna put it in. Um, every window in this trailer opens. 
Um, I, I would be safe to say I put money on it that every single window opens. A lot of manufacturers, they don't do windows that open to save money in a lot of cases. They may give you a couple that open, but not all. Um, your bunk room here, folks, they do add the little bath fan, which is a nice little touch as well. It's not just a wide open vent. Uh, which is good. You do get the AC that's going to pump into the back here. For each of the bunks, folks, you do get a, a light and then a USB connection as well. So for the kids that have the devices that want to plug them in, uh, you can definitely get that done, which is cool. You do get the ladder that will make the little ones easier to get up on top of the uh, that upper bunk there. But one of the things you'll note, the amount of storage, you got four big drawers here, which is awesome. Uh, you know, if you've got four kids, and they can all sleep back here if you got enough space for them. Each child gets their own drawer. But you also get a wardrobe as well. Now this shelf will actually come out. So if you want to, they put the hanger rod up top there. So you can actually turn that into a coat closet. So if you've got, you know, heavier coats, that sort of thing up here in Canada, it can get a little cool at night. So to have a spot to hang everybody's jackets is kind of nice. Or you can leave the shelf in it and just have uh, clothes that are kind of folded up and stacked in there. So, real nice. All your blinds in this product, folks, are an MCD roller shade. Up and down real easy. They're a true blackout blind as well. No more pleated shades where the strings stretch or break or the little buttons get pulled out of the wall, that sort of thing. So, I optioned in the theater seat on this. You can get a tri-fold sofa. Um, so, this is fully reclinable. It stretches right out. It's across from, you know, perfect. You're looking straight at your entertainment. Uh, but heat and massage, and you get a cool blue light with it as well. Um, but again, you can get the tri-fold sofa, which will make out into a bed as well. Um, my thought with this was, hey, theater seat. You've got the double over double bunks in the back. And then you've got the great big U-shaped dinette that folds down into a bed as well. Now, Grand Design has their convertible dinette, and I'm not gonna pull it apart for you, but I'm gonna show you. You see beyond the table legs here, that uh, little thing that looks like an ottoman, that's exactly what that is. That's a piece of furniture, that's an ottoman. So that completes the U portion of the dinette. So if you want a seat, you can pull this table out a little bit. If you want to seat the little ones across the back, you can remove the back cushions that go against the wall underneath the window to give them a little more little more wiggle room there. Uh, but the cool part about this dinette, folks, is see with the, the U-shaped -shape, dinettes in the industry, historically, you get lots of, um, backside space but not a lot of foot space if you know what I mean and so for people that have bigger kids or adults that are size children that are going with you you can take that ottoman right out um, you can take those back cushions off if you want and you have a full great big uh, seat you can seat two adults here very comfortably you put the ottoman here on the end of the table and then you've got all the butt space in the world and all the foot space in the world which is nice. The other thing they've done, reversible cushions. So if you've got little ones and you wanna hide the nice uh, plaid, lighter colored material, uh, you can spin that cushion around um, and, and hide it out of the way, which is, which is nice. And I call this the lounge dinette. So they put that back cushion in, so you can literally slide your backside in, put, prop your leg up here on the edge, edge of the, uh, or the end of the bench here, and literally use it as a seating position to watch a movie. Uh, at night because your entertainment is all right here. So they've just done an absolutely phenomenal job with uh, a lot of the, the usability of the trailer. Uh, right here at your entryway, they still have the storage up here behind for added storage. There's your owner's pou pouch. Um, the Compass Connect, the convenience center, is somewhat modified and changed. Of course, this has Bluetooth connectivity now, which is nice. It's part of the Compass Connect. I was mentioning the tire pressure monitoring. Um, on that app, you can also operate your lights. You can operate your awning. You can operate your slide room. So let's say if you're at a campground, you're by yourself, your family hasn't come out to meet you yet, and it's a little tighter space, and you're kind of going, ooh, is that tree a little close to my slide out as I retract it? You don't have to stand on the inside of your trailer to operate the slide out. You can go outside your trailer and because you've got downloaded the app to your phone, uh, you can stand on the outside of your trailer, push the button and watch your slide go out. 
which is really, really slick. Um, but you've got your interior ceiling lights here, exterior light, water pump switch, your gas electric hot water heater switches, the connect button for Bluetooth, uh, awning, slide, everything is here. Your tank monitoring as well up nice and high away from the little fingers that's what grand design does as well folks you'll notice when you look at their trailers they keep a lot of the switches up high away from the little ones that like pushing buttons so spot to hang jackets and then a spot to always slide your shoes out of the way so you don't have them stacking up here at your entryway motion sensor lighting right at your entryway Again, your entertainment, I know I'm throwing a lot at you and I keep rolling, uh, but your entertainment, you've got a 32 inch TCL television, Roku. So this is a smart TV. Uh, again, I mentioned with that TV antenna up on the roof, you do have the ability to have connectivity through Wi-Fi, um, through your cell phone plan, all of those things, of course, depending on where you're hooked up uh, and what service you have is all dependent, but you do need to add that gateway device. But on this television, you've got YouTube, you've got Netflix, there's a whole bunch of apps you can download, your favorite news stations, those sorts of things, you have it all. Uh, in behind here is your DVD player. They did somewhat reconfigure the pantry here a little bit. So you've got great big pantry here, which is awesome. They give you two great big drawers, which is nice for added, you know, storage for your cooking utensils or what have you. A little bit of storage here, and then they hide your breaker panel in behind this one. Now, to talk a little bit about their cabinetry, folks. Um, Grand Design's known for their cabinetry. They're not going for a cheap cabinet, okay? They want to give you a very... Uh, a very solid, very rugged cabinet. So the cabinet framing that they put in all of their products, folks, is a so solid lumber core cabinet. All of your cabinet styles and framing are fully screwed together. They're not stapled like some products and they don't use MDF anywhere, okay? Um, the new look, this is the Pebble interior. It's a very much a flat panel style baggage compartment. This compartment door is solid wood, folks. It's not MDF. Don't be confused. There's a lot of products in the industry that have a veneer wrap similar to this, but wrap around MDF, which can literally crumble apart on you. Okay. This flat panel door is made from Italian poplar. Okay, it's a solid wood door with a veneer wrap. They put a proper edge around in it. It's not, you know, wrapping, they're not wrapping the veneer all the way around uh, the edges and corners that can pull away. This has actually got like a little rubber edge around the entire perimeter of the baggage door. But the Italian poplar folks is very, very strong. Like the crushing weight on it is super, super high. But the beautiful thing with it is it creates a nice look to it but it's very lightweight. Like if you were to feel this door and pick it up and hold it, extremely lightweight, um, but it's super strong. And that's what Grand Design's going for. Very modern, contemporary. They're really pushing the envelope in terms of the, the interior styling, even the handles they're putting on. It's not like a knob that's hard to grab onto. You actually pull on this and the, the, the compartment opens up and then they're putting an upgraded European hidden hinge here as well so it's not just a hinge that's you know screwed to the edge of the compartment door and then mounted to the frame that you can see with a couple of cheap screws okay this is a very very nice um, hinge so again grand design going the extra steps the extra mile in terms of their cabinetry and what they're known for which is really really good um, a new update for 2021 of course is you do get the eight cubic foot refrigerator which is nice they started the imagine with the six cubic foot refrigerator this is the eight gas electric it's an absorption fridge so it will run on your propane uh, which is nice. They do upgrade and put the little block blocks on here to prevent little rails there so that when you open up your door, less chance of things falling out on you um, after you've towed it down the highway, which is nice. RV manufacturers can option these in or leave them out. Grand Design's putting them in just to give you that little added value, which is nice. So uh, underneath your refrigerator, wine bottle holder, or whatever you want to put there, and then you've got, for our puppies, you've got the, uh, the food dish for the, the four-legged friends. We can't forget about them. And uh, this is kind of cool. This is, they started this in 2020, or with the new interior, the pebble interior. So you've got the pegboard here, so you can, you know, set your pots and pans up. So they're not sliding around. They're easy to, easy to pull in and out. And uh, 
just gives you a little added flexibility there in terms of your storage extra storage there a couple of big drawers here as well spot for your spices or what have you underneath your sink so beautiful kitchen setup uh, they do put on the um, counter extension as well this is a thermal foil countertop it's sealed it doesn't have a groove routed into the edge with a rubber molding that'll shrink. If you're looking at trailers, folks, and you see that rubber edge here on the edge of the countertop, where you see a bend here, after a few years, that rubber molding will start to pull away from here, exposing your countertop. With this trailer, you don't have to worry about that. For you RVers that have had RVs or own an RV like that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, the nice thing is they've also transitioned up the back wall, same material as kind of a backsplash gives it a real nice look um, they've also always done the single basin sink here so the sink covers new what's neat about this is you can use this as a drying rack washing your vegetables if you want to do you know a soaker tub for you know doing your soaping and cleaning and that sort of thing just get a rubbermaid container put it here um, it is an under counter mount sink so you can get rubbermaid containers that fit that would sit perfectly in this groove here and you can do all your cleaning here and then rinse and uh, you know have your have your rinse station on the other side so pull out pull out faucet here so real cool sink lots of flexibility with it lots of counter space all the way around okay uh, one thing to note Grand Design they actually lower their cabinetry down as opposed to raising it up you'll see with some trailers folks your microwave will be in a box that will be sitting similar to this but then the bottom of the cabinetry beside sits up like this high and then when you open up your cabinet door it's just one big open space okay so what Grand Design does is they lower that cabinet down and give you a shelf okay they're building the value in you get twice as much storage you're only going to fill up your compartment so much so why not add a shelf okay and they do that over here as well so beautiful tons and tons of storage so um, I know I'm throwing a lot and this video is gonna get quite long here but uh, whoop, running into the, the wall here um, laminated floor in this product it's a double stacked plywood that seems staggered folks laminated just like the sidewall very very rigid very very strong there's no heat ducts in your floor to you know for soft spots to develop over time um, you know for ch kids Cheerios and crayons and dog food and dog hair and that sort of thing to go down into again very very strong floor they port all of the heating out through the cabinetry right so you get more of an even heating throughout their trailers which is really really nice um, if you're traveling in a colder climate you don't have the slide out sitting over top of a roof or a floor vent or if you go with the trifold sofa, we've seen lots of trailers with that vent on the floor in front of the sofa. If you had the trifold sofa folded out over top of that vent and that furnace is running, you're going to cook whoever's sleeping on that bed. So uh, with Grand Design, you don't have to worry about those things, which is nice. Okay. Now, coming up to the bathroom, this is an eight foot wide trailer from your main wall to your main wall okay your outside wall to outside wall so this bathroom is eight feet wide it's a very very large bathroom but one thing you'll note with grand design folks they use a lot of the same parts and pieces in all of their bathrooms so this countertop and storage unit that you see where your kitchen sink is this is similarly used in a lot of the products the 2800 bh has something very that looks identical to it okay so those are the things that really help out with building a quality trailers consistency in the parts and pieces that they're using by floor plan okay but lots of counter space lots of storage you do get the window here with the pull down shade storage above okay sink here big wide opening again uh, porcelain foot flush toilet here they do get the towel rack I call it the towel rack you roll up your towels and stack them in there real nice awesome utilization of space and then you get your your shower with the ABS tub surround the shelving in it you get the Nautilus shower curtain um, this cool this shower curtain the way it's designed is that when that shower curtain retracts there's a squeegee in here that squeegees off the water and it runs down into the shower pan and out it's mold and uh, mold and mildew resistant uh, which is nice you do get the skylight for those super tall people where your head can go up inside so and then your master bedroom 
lots of things going on with the master bedroom. We're going to talk a bit more, but uh, and then we're going to uh, close out the video. But um, Grand Design, they've actually somewhat redesigned the storage around your bed. Okay. Um, they used to have this upper storage as one complete unit that went from sidewall to sidewall. And then your closet started underneath that upper cabinet and went down. Okay. You used to only get one drawer. So what they've done is they've shrunk the cabinetry on either side over above the bed. They raise the cabinet, the hanging storage up, okay, to give you an added drawer. So you get two drawers on each side, hanging wardrobe, storage, such great utilization of space. But again, Grand Design is always refining and coming up with cool things, okay? So in behind the drawer with the radius of the front cap, the way it's designed, you know, rectangular drawer, square drawer, they actually had an, a, a void in the, an unusable or a, a usable void, but they weren't using before in behind the drawers. So now you get these little cool little storage cubbies on either side of the bed with USB connections, 110 plug. If you got a CPAP machine, you can hook it up there, your cell phone charging, um, a spot to put your glasses, a book, a glass of water. Um, you've got all that on each side. So unbelievable creativity, great utilization of space. And that's all behind your drawers here. So, and then um, you've got your sliding storage tray, which is, which is new, super easy, you know, doesn't add a lot of money to the trailer, but just gives you that much more storage, which is nice. So similar to the kitchen cabinets, you're only going to fill up underneath your bed so much. So why not give an extra little storage tray to be able to put your goodies? So gas struts to hold up the mattress and in all of their trailers, 60 by 80 residential queen size beds in all of the imagines and transcends, which is cool reflections as well, unless it's got the king bed option. Um, regular mattress topper you buy from Costco or uh, Walmart or whatever will fit this bed perfectly because it's 60 wide by 80 long. Your fitted sheets will go around it better. Uh, it's just, they're just thinking. So big fans of Grand Design. This is what we carry. We're the number one Grand Design store here in Alberta. You've got the uh, pendant lighting here as well. So I know I've thrown a lot at you. This is going to be a long video. We've gone deep on the 2910BH. We are so excited to have this new floor plan here at our dealership. And we're super excited to be able to show it off to you. So love to have you come by our dealership here at Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We are literally 15 minutes south of Edmonton. And we're a little store, 3.3 uh, acres and 95% and of what we carry is Grand Design here and we love representing the product. So 780-986-1234 um, is our phone number and I'd uh, love to have you come by. If you can't make it to Leduc, hey, we've got like six other locations in Western Canada that can serve you better. Um, Grand Prairie, Edmonton, Red Deer, Calgary, uh, all up to the corridor here in Alberta, we carry the Grand Design product. We don't have it out in Saskatoon or out in Abbotsford, but uh, we got great brands there as well for you to check out if you're from that area. So uh, again, my name's Clayton Phillips, Woody's RV World Leduc, showing off the all new Grand Design Imagine 2910BH. Thanks for your time, happy camping, and take care.